All right, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I am your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, I was one of those people that actually lived through an inner city riot. I lived through the 92 riots in Los Angeles, the Rodney King's riot. So I know that they go in phases and stages. They all eventually burn out because, you know, eventually everything is looted and gone. But they go through phases and stages. They get the, the big targets, downtown malls and things like that, the easier targets. And then they work their way into the ethnic neighborhoods. And that's where you find people like the Koreans and stuff like that defending their homes and their, their businesses. But anyway, this is one of those articles. This is from Cicero outside of Chicago. This is the Latino gangs defending their neighborhood. It's very interesting. I got a really good action-packed clip I'm going to show you at the end of this, but we're going to go through the article. This is from Information Liberation, June the 4th. Latino gangs go to war with looters in Cicero, suburb of Chicago. None of us heard most, much of his story. With the media being furious with towns like Ukaifa and Snomish, where white men with large guns were seen defending their neighborhood, it's rather remarkable how little attention they've given to the Latino street gangs aggressively purging their neighborhood of looters in the suburbs of Chicago. In Cicero, Illinois, over the past few days, there were multiple shootouts. Wait till I show you, man. This stuff looks like a war zone. You are not going to believe this. And people were seen ramming trucks in the looters' cars. Two people were killed and 60 were arrested. Frankly, it's hard to say how much, this, how much of this was targeting looters versus targeting anyone who, black, who was black who happened to be driving through. There seems to be a mix of both. You can understand the confusion. Most, most of these black looters, most of the looters were black. So you can understand how these people are running up to their cars. You'll see that. If, a, if you're black in Chicago, this is a tweet from uh, Unfriendly Black Hottie. If you're black in Chicago, stay away from 26 and Cicero. The Mexicans in the area are targeting all black people. They're sitting outside with weapons, pulling people from their cars, and beating them. Cicero PD is doing nothing to stop it. Now, there's a, there's a question about that. There's other people that are saying that's, that wasn't the case, and I'm going to go down and show you that. But here's some of the action. I'm not going to go through these clips. I'm going to show you one later. This is a liquor store being looted. Okay? This is all in Cicero. These are people patrolling the streets. Okay? They had snipers. They had snipers. I'm going to leave you a link to the article so you can see this for yourself. But anyway, here's at Real Wendy Bell. She says blacks are not getting targeted by Latinos in Cicero. Looters are, and she seems to be a black woman. She said Latin racism is a lie. Leftist race hustlers and liberal criminal coddlers want you to believe so, so you stop protecting your businesses from looters. Okay, here's that liquor store again. And she's saying here's further evidence of what they're doing, how they're playing the race card and that all the looters are not black, and these are Latino stores who are being robbed. Okay? She said, here's the proof of El Patron liquor store getting vandalized and looted. Latin business owners should be armed to the teeth so they can be prepared to protect their property. Okay? She said, this gun was removed as well as drug par paraphernalia from one of the looters they found in Cicero. These looters are, the looters are packed, man. This is Chicago. The peaceful protesters smashing up liquor stores and hiding in the storage closet is being protected by liberals crying racism. Do not fall for it. Okay, that's what she's saying that's going on there. She's saying it's not racism. These people are protecting their homes and businesses. And I, I agree with them. They have every right to do so. Okay, I'm going to show you a clip and then we're going to get out of here. We're going to show you some of this action-packed stuff. This is serious business. You guys ever wonder why these Mexican people drive around these big trucks? You'll see why. Chill, 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 chill. 
All right, guys, that's what's going on in Cicero right outside of Chicago. My advice to people, if you're in these inner cities and you can, is to get out as quickly as possible. There are bad people running these cities, and they're going to let this happen because they're trying to hurt Trump. So if I were you and I could, if you can leave, leave now.